All right, folks, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get it started here with this uh, InfoSec tutorial. At this point, um, I'm assuming that uh, some of you are um, proceeding this tutorial uh, within Ubuntu 18.04. Alternatively, um, you can remotely access this computer with on network um, as I am from the comfort and confines of my study. I am remotely accessing that uh, supercomputer um, or mining rig. Uh, by secure shell access here. So um, in order to do that, I've already configured that environment as you have seen before in the previous clip. We installed open SSH server. We opened um, port 22, we then rebooted, and we are now ready to pipe in that device here. So let's uh, do a few things here to check and see if we did that correctly. Uh, we're gonna run nmap and you'll download nmap. I actually go over this in one of the other tutorials that I prepared out there actually last year, uh, how to, um, mine for Bitcoin with a Raspberry Pi, but you'll be using Nmap in order to do that to ping the device to make sure that uh, it is accessible with on network. So we will run um, sudo nmap-sn10-0.0.0 uh, I'm sorry, 10.0.1.105. Okay, and as you can see, we've correctly um, configured that device uh, as it's um, recognized by Nmap with on my network. Uh, the device name is Alexander Ubuntu. The IP address is 10.0.1.105. And you can actually verify that IP address by running, um, what is it, ifconfig-a, as I've outlined here. Um, that'll reveal the um, IP address for that device. So the next thing we're going to do is run um, SSH. We're going to SSH into that uh, device. That's SSH-V, uh, username, in my case, it was Alexander J. Singleton at that IP address. Uh, 10.0.1.105. Alternatively, you can use the um, user and um, the uh, the device name, which is Alexander Ubuntu. In my case, you could replace that IP address with Alexander Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and try that. Uh, we enter in that device password. Basically, you would um, enter in the uh, Ubuntu password just to clarify. And we are in. So let's clear that just to make this uh, a little bit easier to read. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is update the default drivers that were installed with Ubuntu. So um, as you all recall, we are uh, rocking eight uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 uh, GPUs on that device. Uh, and we can um, verify that by running a command here as I've outlined before. You can do this by the um, guided user interface or just by the desktop, but I would prefer, and I think it's easier to um, do this within the command line, So, uh, but I provided options for both um, folks out there who might be more familiar or comfortable with uh, the GUI there. So uh, let's just go ahead and do this with command line. So we'll go to, we're going to run sudo lshw-c display. Enter in that device password. Okay, so that will, one, um, identify all of the GPUs on board. Uh, there should be eight here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there is an Intel on board as well, but we're going to ignore that one for now. And you can see that it became, uh, it was uh, loaded with the default driver Nouveau. Uh, we want the most up-to-date NVIDIA driver. And in order to do that, we run the command here at step four, sudo ubuntu dash drivers dash drivers. Um, and what is that devices? So it appears that the most up to date um, driver for this case by the um, Ubuntu repository is NVIDIA driver dash 390. So we're going to install that. So we would run sudo apt install nvidia dash driver dash 390 yes okay so that's going to install the latest nvidia drivers onto our device after that we're going to run sudo shutdown reboot and we will verify that this was correctly installed so um, let's let this go ahead and do that it should take i don't know about 60 seconds maybe uh, 90 seconds. Um, and to clarify, I'll probably try to transition um, 
within this tutorial. I might have to stop it um, or transition in the next segment because I want to make sure this is seamless, but uh, I will try to have this just go ahead and um, let it run and record here. So, um, but I will clarify that if there are any preceding transitions. So um, you'll get the point here. Just follow along with me if I have to chop this up for some reason uh, for encountering some sort of technical snafu. Um, I will explain, but anyway, so far so good. So let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so that should have installed. So now um, we want to reboot the computer, but I would advise everyone to run sudo shutdown dash r now instead of sudo reboot. For some reason, I had some sort of a reboot hang when I did this. So again, uh, try sudo shutdown dash r dash now. Okay, so that'll punt us off that device um, if you're remotely accessing that, or um, you will be in a forced restart if you're at um, the Ubuntu desktop. So um, let that, basically the computer's restarting. Let it run for about 30 to 60 seconds. And after that, um, you can log back in. Um, since the, um, if, if you did install those new drivers, uh, you will probably have some trouble, um, Ubuntu desktop folks. So I would, um, before you log in, you'll see this little um, settings wheel, as I've explained here within the instructions. Uh, click on that, and that settings wheel within the Ubuntu prompt um, and select Ubuntu on Wayland. Uh, when I publish this gist on my personal blog, I'll try to include some screenshots about that, but um, that will probably be a, a, an issue if you reboot and you're unable to log in for whatever reason. Um, so just caution there. But if you're uh, remotely accessing this computer um, by secure shell access, you should be okay at this point. So let's wait a few more seconds here. We're gonna run that command again. Um, SSH-V, your username, and then the IP address of that device. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna enter that password, very good. And we are back in that device. So let's clear that. Uh, now, the next thing we're gonna do is verify that we correctly installed those drivers. So run sudo lshw c display. Enter in that device password. And as you can see, the driver now is not is no longer Nouveau, but NVIDIA. So we correctly installed that driver. Let's see if we can run in a little more um, technical specification there. Pseudo LSHW-C video. Okay, same deal, it'll be displayed there. Okay, so there, we just, we've correctly installed the NVIDIA 390 driver. Next, um, we're gonna install the CUDA toolkit from the command line. And if you recall, I did um, explain um, within the Ubuntu desktop, you're welcome to download the NVIDIA toolkit um, from the website. Um, ignore what I'm doing here because I'm in a Mac, but um, if you were in Ubuntu, you would select Linux, x86-64, Ubuntu, 18.04, uh, run file local, and then you would download that um, file, assuming you're doing this from the Ubuntu desktop, not from your remote um, device here, which I'm doing, but you would download that file. And then if you were to go to, let's see, sudo, I'm sorry, change directory into, let me first list them. You would go to downloads, and um, I already downloaded that file just in case if you wanted to do that within the Ubuntu desktop here, but um, go ahead and ignore that. So if you're gonna be doing this from um, the command line um, or within the command line from uh, um, Ubuntu, again, you can, you can do this also within Ubuntu, but I would actually advise you to do it from the command line within Ubuntu. So assuming um, you are in the, um, you're in um, Ubuntu or you're remote accessing here. We're gonna do this from the command line. We're gonna install the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit from the command line. So let me clear this. And I'm going to copy and paste. Um, actually, I'll probably do these in sequence. Uh, we're gonna run sudo, sudo. You can, you're welcome to copy and paste that and run that as is. Uh, you might encounter some trouble there, but I would just go ahead and do this uh, piecemeal with me. Uh, sudo apt update. Okay sudo apt dist upgrade dash y and then sudo reboot 
And again, this will kick us off, wait about 60 seconds, and we'll go from there. So again, let's wait another 60 seconds. It should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and try to access that by SSH. Maybe wait a little bit longer. There we go. I wasn't ready. Okay, now we are in, we're back in the device here. So let's do run ls pci dash b. Okay. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do here is uh, um, run this command here. So again, that's uh, it's sudo apt install dash y ocl dash icd. You get the point here, NVIDIA driver. That's the name of the driver number you're gonna to want to install. So I, I um, listed the convention, uh, the syntax here for that uh, command, but go ahead and um, you would copy and paste this if you're installing that 390 driver, um, if you're on the NVIDIA um, GE Force uh, GTX 1080. So it, if you're using different NVIDIA cards, you're gonna have different numbers or different driver specifications. So again, I'm gonna copy and paste that into the terminal here and run that. Enter in that password. Okay. And we'll probably be prompted for a reboot, but I think we might be able to verify the install by running NVIDIA-SMI next. Okay, now let's run NVIDIA dash SMI. Okay, so let's see here. NVIDIA dash SMI should be good to go. We've installed uh, the CUDA toolkit. 